We are here with Jason Seberg. He is the Senior Project Manager at Suffolk Construction. Hi, Jason. Thank you for being with us today. Absolutely. Suffolk Construction is one of the largest privately held construction companies in the country. Um, we specialize in construction management, design build across all sectors, healthcare, science and technology, uh, retail, residential, commercial. The Albert Sherman Center is a 512,000 square foot biomedical and research facility. It's for the UMass Medical School in Worcester. There's a strong postgraduate component to the project, and I believe it was the largest project that the Building Authority completed in the 2012 calendar year. Can you tell us about some challenges you faced during this project? One of the biggest challenges was the uh, getting involved early on in the project before the design was complete. Um, it's a terminology called fast track construction, which basically means um, we started the job before the design was finished, which as you can imagine, uh, provides many, many challenges throughout the course of the project. Um, we didn't receive a full design of the job until about a year and a half into it, um, which basically meant for a year and a half we were kind of working very closely with the design team, um, the UMass Building Authority, the UMass Medical School, and PMA consultants who was hired as the owner's rep for the Building Authority um, to successfully complete the job. Can you tell us how LEED has impacted your business? You know, first and foremost, I, I think what it's done is it's kind of forced all of us to, to think more um, innovatively about how technology can help green practices. For example, um, on the Albert Sherman Center, there, there's an extensive uh, lighting control system, um, an air sampling system that uh, really are state of the art. The building actually uses 4.1 million kilowatt hours less than similar buildings of that kind. Um, and this building, because of the air sampling system, um, it uses four and a half million pounds less uh, CO2 um, than a typical building of that size. And when you're dealing with systems that are that sophisticated, it kind of forces everybody to kind of really study up and learn different right. ways of, of doing things that um, all of us really aren't that used to. So um, it really kind of pushes the envelope for those sort of things. And Jason, can you tell us about any projects that you're currently working on that could be LEED certified? Um, nationwide, we have roughly 30 projects um, that are either LEED certified, LEED silver, gold, or platinum. Um, and in the Boston area, we have approximately, I believe it's 15, about half of that. One of which is the Old Colony Phase Two residential project that's actually going for LEED platinum um, under the, the homes category. Congratulations with everything, and thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.